It's wonderful. It, it's reliable. It's fast. We can put more troops on target. We can put more cargo on target. It's the flexibility of the C-130 is the best part about the aircraft. You rely on the automation as if it were another crew member. C-130 has always been a valuable military asset in any operation, and the C-130J is no different. And with the added capabilities of the airplane, it's definitely a, a wartime asset. I was on a mission in Afghanistan, just flying in the mountains, having the performance available. It was a very confidence-inspiring experience. The reliability that the KC-130J brought to this squadron in support of MAGTAF operations and Operation Iraqi Freedom was outstanding. One time we were specifically tasked to uh, carry a 25,000 pound fire truck out of a landing zone in Afghanistan. And the only platform that was able to land in this uh, hostile environment and uh, extract this 25,000 pound fire truck was the J model. The plane absolutely performed well in theater. There were very few maintenance capability issues that we saw in the desert. Uh, the sortie generation rate was fantastic. C-130J is a very good aircraft. The uh, automation in the airplane is pretty amazing. Just the mission computers and what they can do for you. It's got a lot of great tools. My favorite is uh, with the heads-up display, the HUD. It's an excellent piece of equipment. We're fully MVG uh, equipped with night vision goggles, so the C-130J does very well at night. This mission that we had the other night, the weather was terrible, 30 knot crosswind, flying it down to Minns on the approach. The J model allows you to couple the two autopilot, of it, make sure you have all your ducks in a row, and take over the aircraft when you break out of the weather. It's great because you can use that HUD to, again, put it, superimpose it on a, a short field landing, and you can land in, you know, 500 feet of runway, stop in about 2,000 feet. The uh, pallet lock control units are strategically placed around the airplane to make it easier for a single low master to lock platforms into place. It's very nice. The uh, accuracy of the airdrop capabilities on this is phenomenal. We do put the package on target probably 98% of the time. It's right there within a couple of feet of where it's supposed to be. The configuration changes in the back are, are very easy. The, the flip over rollers in the floor, for instance, absolutely outstanding addition to, to the rear of the airplane. It may take five to ten minutes to flip over the rollers on the J model, where uh, on the E&H we would take uh, at least three to four times longer. I've been really impressed with the uh, reliability of the airplane. It's, it's nice to, uh, to show up to fly and, and know that you're going to go fly. <laughs> with the KC-130J, we're finding that uh, our maintainability and availability are much higher than the older model. KC-130s. Uh, during our deployments out to Iraq, uh, I don't believe the squadron ever missed an, a mission the entire six months that we were out there. The propulsion system, it is fast. It's quieter, actually, which is uh, a good tactical thing. Uh, we can climb higher, go faster. It performs well at all altitudes, at uh, temperatures, and also uh, landing conditions great for getting up off the ground and that's what you want to do when you're in Iraq is you want to get up off the ground, uh, get the distance between you and the enemy. I think the biggest thing that comes to mind when thinking about the C-130J is the capabilities that it brings in the 21st century. It's a great aircraft for the Air Force and I think it'll be a great aircraft uh, for the future. But the J is working now, it's here now and, it, and it's proven itself. So I believe it's going to be an important tool now and in the future.